Japanese culture is known to be very polite culture. As you guys know, we like to bow a lot. If you meet your friends or someone who, who are close to you, we bow like 30 degree. Konnichiwa. And if we meet someone important, like boss or in business situation, we bow like 45 degree. When you are in serious situation, for example, you have done something really serious and you need to apologize, you bow like 90 degree, something like this. Gloshika channel e yokoso. Hi, I'm Hina from Japan, and today I'll be teaching you some useful Japanese phrases when you come to Japan. Japanese culture is known to be highly complicated with very fine differences between what it seems to be right and wrong. And it continues to have a strong influence on anyone who wants to live and work in Japan. Unlike in Western societies, the group is seen as more important than the individual. If you step out of line on any aspect, it has a strong impact on the way other people see you. This is reflected very clearly in the Japanese language itself, which has both a formal and casual form, and which makes learning Japanese very difficult for outsiders. Even though honorifics play a very important role in Japanese society, we do not have the opportunity to use difficult honorifics in our daily lives. Therefore, even I, as a Japanese person, have had the embarrassing experience of trying to use difficult honorifics at the interview or in other official situations and suddenly failing to do so. It is difficult even for Japanese, so don't be too discouraged and enjoy learning. So here are a few Japanese phrases you need to understand before going to Japan. First of all, saying thank you is the most basic and important thing in communication. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Arigatou gozaimasu. Thank you. You can also say arigatou in a casual way. Arigatou. Arigatou. When you want to call someone's attention or just to apologize, you can say sumimasen. 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 Or sumimasen like, I'm sorry, or excuse me. Japanese people like to say this word because it's very convenient. You can use it in any time. You just got someone's attention, and you want to ask where is the place, for example, Shibuya. You can say, Shibuya wa doko desu ka? Shibuya wa doko desu ka? Shibuya wa doko desu ka? Where is Shibuya? For example, if you're looking for a bathroom, Toile wa doko desu ka? Toile wa doko desu ka? Toile wa doko desu ka? Or the station. Eki wa doko desu ka? Eki wa doko desu ka? Eki wa doko desu ka? Oh no, you realize that you are lost. You want to ask, where is this? Where am I? You can feel free to ask Japanese people. Koko wa doko desu ka? Koko wa doko desu ka? Koko wa doko desu ka? Where is this? Where am I? Remember, koko means here. It's easy, right? So you got the answer back, but couldn't hear it well. Let's ask them to say that again. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. Mo ichido onegai shimasu. Can you please say that again? Okay, so this is your first night in Japan after a long trip. Let's check into the hotel. Check-in, check-out wo onegai shimasu. Check-in, check-out wo onegai shimasu. Check-in, check-out wo onegai shimasu. I'd like to check in or check out. Check in, check out in Japanese pronunciation is check-in, check-out. What? You forgot to book a hotel? Don't worry, you can just ask. Aiteru heya wa arimasu ka? Aiteru heya wa arimasu ka? Aiteru heya wa arimasu ka? Are there any rooms available? Yeah, you got a room. Now you can finally rest. What? You forgot your key in the room? You must be very tired. Okay, let's ask for the help. Heya ni kagi wo wasuremashita. 
部屋に鍵を忘れました。部屋に鍵を忘れました。I forgot my key in the room. They'll open the room for you, so now you can finally rest. おやすみ。The next day in the morning. おはよう。You need to eat a lot of delicious Japanese food. Now you have arrived at the restaurant, but you don't see the menu. メニューをください。メニューをください。メニューをください。Please give me the menu.Now you see the menu.Everything looks so good and you cannot decide.Then let's ask what's recommended. おすすめのメニューはどれですかおすすめのメニューはどれですかおすすめのメニューはどれですか ?What menu item do you recommend? Sometimes you see unique Japanese food and you don't know what it is. You can feel free to ask, right? これは何ですかこれは何ですかこれは何ですか What is this? Remember, これ means this. これは何ですか Now you finally decide what to eat. Let's call the employee and say, すみません。注文をお願いします。注文をお願いします。注文をお願いします。I'm ready to order. But how do you order? It's easy. In Japan, the menu always has pictures on it. So, like I said, これ means this. So you just point it out and say, これをお願いします。これをお願いします。これをお願いします。I'd like to order this, please. Yay! Finally, the food is in front of you. I know you're so hungry and can't wait to eat. But in Japan, it's important to say, いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。Before eating food. After the delicious food, there is also an important phrase to say, ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。ごちそうさまでした。It means thank you for the meal. It's very nice if you say ごちそうさまでしたと the chef or employee at the restaurant. Now it's time to pay for the food. お会計をお願いします。お会計をお願いします。お会計をお願いします。Check please. Remember that you don't need to pay tips in Japan. After the great meal, it's time to travel around the city. Now you have arrived at the station and you want to ask where to buy the tickets. Kippu Riba wa doko desu ka? Kippu Riba wa doko desu ka? Kippu Riba wa doko desu ka? Where can I buy tickets? Even though you got the ticket but you don't know how to get to the place, you can just say, The place にはどう行けばいいですか For example, if you are going to Shibuya, then 渋谷にはどう行けばいいですか渋谷にはどう行けばいいですか How do I get to Shibuya? You know how complicated the Tokyo station is, right? Even though you know how to get to the place, but you don't know which train goes to the place. The place 行きの電車はどれですか Let's say Shibuya. Shibuya Yuki no Densha wa dole desu ka? Shibuya Yuki no Densha wa dole desu ka? Which train goes to Shibuya? After you master the complicated station, you got tired and slept in the train. When you wake up, you don't know which station you are at. You can ask people. Koko wa nani eki desu ka? Koko wa nani eki desu ka? ここは何駅ですか What station is this? Oh, you slept too long, so you need to take different train to get to the place. But you are not sure if this train really goes to the place. この電車は the place に行きますか Let's say Shibuya again. この電車は渋谷に行きますかこの電車は渋谷に行きますか Does this train go to Shibuya? Yay! Finally, you're at the place and you are getting off the bus or train or whatever. You can say, Orimasu. 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 
I'm getting off the bus or train. Oh my god, you arrive at the beautiful city. There are many things you need to take pictures of, but be careful. Some places are forbidden to take pictures, so you gotta confirm that. Shashin wo totte mo ii desu ka? Shashin wo totte mo ii desu ka? Shashin wo totte mo ii desu ka? May I take a photo? Yay! You are allowed to take pictures. Make sure to take lots of pictures of you too. Let's ask some Japanese people to take a nice picture of you. Shashin wo totte moraimasu ka? Can you please take a picture of me? When you come to Japan, you should definitely go shopping. When you are looking for a certain stuff, you can ask. The thing, wa arimasu For example, if you are looking for a t-shirt, then you can say, T-shirts wa arimasu ka? T-shirts wa arimasu ka? Do you have t-shirt? Oh, you found something interesting. You want to see it in more detail. Then let's say, Kore wo misete kudasai. Kore wo misete kudasai. Kore wo misete kudasai. Please show me this. When you do shopping, the price is really important, right? What if it's very expensive when you bring it to the cashier? So let's ask, Ikura desu ka? Ikura desu ka? Ikura desu ka? How much is this? There are still many places that only accept cash. So it's really important to ask if you can use your credit card. Credit card wa tsukaimasu ka? Credit card wa tsukaimasu ka? Credit card wa tsukaimasu ka? Credit card in Japanese pronunciation is credit card. Can I use a credit card? After a long day, you went to many places and saw lots of things. You're so tired and you don't even have energy to take train to go back. Let's take taxi then. Taxi no riba wa doko desu ka? Taxi no riba wa doko desu ka? Taxi no riba wa doko desu ka? Where's the taxi stand? You get in a taxi and you need to tell the driver where you wanna go, right? Remember, koko means here. So you just point out the address and say, Koko ni itte kudasai. Koko ni itte kudasai. Koko ni itte kudasai. Please go here. Thank you for watching. I hope those phrases were useful for you. What do you want to learn next? Please let us know in the comments below. Bye bye.